So this is the Game Boy Advance port of Mega Man Base. After doing the Super Famicom version. In fact, the Super Famicom version was one of the first couple games we did. I think it was game number three. And now we're playing the GBA version that many, many months later. I already played as Mega Man on the Super Famicom version, so we'll play as base in this one. So yeah, base has the rapid fire, and can also dash. But you have to double tap forward for it. Oh, I like how those moles just managed to avoid my shot for a brief moment. Because they were too close. Oh wow, it even starts panning up even in here. That's a good sign of things to come. Hey there, Cassette Cobra, good to see you. Such a rage-inducing game as a kid. This one will probably be rage-inducing as an adult. Because look what you gotta deal with. A tiny amount of screen. But yeah, I saw you followed like a few days ago. Thank you so much for that. Why you flicker? So maybe you do have a bit of iframes. Yeah, you kinda do. Maybe it's certain attacks that don't have them. I remember watching when I was like 8 or 10, good times. 2008 was a good time? Man, I started in 2008. And trust me, a lot of the uh, video quality back then... And I would... <laughs> probably say the commentary wasn't that great either. Thankfully it did get better. Oh, that's right, the base can double jump. Yeah, I remember that might be important later. Oh, that thing was ready to shoot at me even before it was on screen. Because the game behaves as if this is still the Super Famicom version. Also, I like how it just randomly interrupts your gameplay, just to save progress. Oh, I didn't know I mean to dash there. See, the double tap forward to dash is a double-edged sword. Because sometimes it's going to make you dash when you don't want to. Proto Man. You have gone too far, King. It won't allow you to violate this robot museum. I've downloaded all the data of the battle robots. Now I can create an invincible robot army! Since you are a robot, you are qualified to join us if you want to. Huh? Another bug to squash. I'm sure my robots will entertain you. Wait! King! Silence! You don't need a background while I cleave you in half. Is that the robot who calls himself King? What a joke. Everyone knows that I am the mightiest robot in the world. I will show him who deserves to be called King. I promise I'll- oh, okay, I'm gonna leave now. Even though I'm losing a torso. I appreciate your arrogance, but I have no time for you. I'll allow the Green Devil to handle you. Uh, 
Okay, so you gotta shoot at it several times just to get to the core. So when you hit the core, it just protects itself again. Or if you take too long to shoot it. It doesn't help when you have to constantly jump. Got it. It even buffers during saving. All right, we'll go to Cold Man first. Like it's just Archie's back. Like, oh yeah, time to stretch. Yeah, imagine if you did not have iframes at all. This would be unbearable. Since a lot of damage can come to, from contact. This is like Frostman stage? I would not say it's anything like that. Because it hardly, hardly has any of the Frostman gimmicks. You know. Those ones. <laughs> I will definitely be needing that extra life. Well, given that the art style is like Mega Man 8, maybe that's where you're getting it from. Okay, Base has a much easier time dealing with this mid-boss than Mega Man does. But you could probably say that on almost every boss. The only problem is when I'm not ready to move is when he jumps. He's just reading me. I also gotta remember I cannot slide. This doesn't look like a pit, so I can probably go down here safely. Yeah, I can. The annoying thing about, like, the, uh, CDs for this is, like, like it's cool that there's something that's collectible and gives you lore on uh, Robot Masters, even the Star Droids, and the Mega Man Killers, among other things. But the fact that some of them can only be obtained by one of two characters... That, to me, is just kind of dumb. But it was like that in the Super Famicom version, too. This base trivializes this part. And now for Cold Man. It's cold, man! Oh wow, you, you jump forward really quick.
I don't remember that attack. thing I could think of to actually a coal man would be charge man from Mega Man 5 because he's a train right, just don't jump forward and we'll all good. Oh no. Oh! Oh, one, one more hit and I'd have been done too. That is a cool looking color. Do, 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 do. You got the ice wall. Well, that's the same attack that Mega Man has too. It'll be a while before I can afford some really good stuff with these uh, bolts. Next up should be Burner Man. If I remember the boss order. Ready. Oh, the bubble bats are here. Not that I could see it right away. Thanks, game. God bless the mighty screen crunch. Oh, I can just shoot you like this. If you jump into the ceiling, the bullets will somehow hit the, uh, Joe. Until that happens. Oh, hey there, Tony. Welcome back. You didn't miss much with this game. I am missing, however, some health, because I could really use some. Please, sir. Just a little bit of health. Please, it's all I ask. Help me, kind sir. Back with all the Mega Man, Mini, Mega Man games, minus 11, still dying in Cutman stage. Cutman stage can be quite hard. Okay, the pit starts here. Okay. 
I make it to the checkpoint? I think I did. Well, it's a good thing I hit it then. That ball hit me. but it keeps me alive. So what's your favorite cheese? <laughs> Mine would honestly be Gouda. Or Bree. Bree's pretty good too. Actually, this way actually was faster. Cause then I could just duck down again. What a great enemy. You get hit at least maybe twice around here. I mean, just look at all this shit you have to dodge. Ah. Might as well get that so I can get some joy out of my life. a good spot to just get whatever you want. Why does this thing have so much health? How long have I been at Twitch? Probably since like 2018, I'd say. But I wasn't, like, streaming there frequently at that time. I think it was around 2019, I think, that I started streaming with more regularity. Oh, that, that's nice and all, but I need help. Please. Stick around here as long as it takes. What is up with the drop rate of the items being so garbage? Hope I didn't reset that enemy's uh, health. Ah! Oh my goodness, after all that I still died. Am I 
lives do I have? Okay, I got plenty. For now. the high ground so you can live. Yeah, I was like watching that since the Justin TV days as well. When I learned that streaming even existed. I know there was Justin, but there was also Ustream. New stream obviously did not last very long. Alright, as much as I'd like to take up Burner Man in one go, I'm probably not gonna be able to. Oh, I like how I get all the wrong timing. Like, emphatically wrong. I imagine this boss being a nightmare to do without the weapon. The wave burner. I always find it weird that it's the fire weapon that turns you green. I think it'd be a good time to go shopping. Invented some power-up items for me. In exchange for the screws you have gathered, you can be in tip-top shape. Uh, get the energy balancer first. Please. Someone's proud of himself. It allows you to talk with Roll. Just no marathon phone conversations, please. Yeah, I'm sure Base is always up for that. I'll take it. Might as well. Only takes effect in one stage. Okay, I guess I gotta beat more levels before the good stuff shows up. Let's do Pirate Man's level. At least a one water level in Mega Man games nowadays. I'm 
Imagine trying to beat these bosses damageless for retro achievements. I mean, I've seen them damageless before, but it takes like way too many retries. Personally, I would honestly be surprised if Cole ever thought about let of doing a playthrough of this game. Water stages or not. Oh, I was gonna go down there, but I was giving so much. Because I did not know that was a pit there. I thought there was more floor. Thanks, video game. And hell. Earth, the world. Oh, almost got stuck. What about a metal blade only run? You cannot do a metal blade only run. Because some bosses are actually immune to it. Ironically enough, one of them that's not immune is Metal Man. Ooh! Right at the needle there. Let's just make it to the next screen. Not like that! <laughs> 30 hitboxes. Work against the whale? No. And now I'm in the same position I was before. Yeah, it's Bubble Ed. I know some of the treasure chests are actually fine and not mimics. Oh man, I should have grabbed that one when I had the chance. I was too busy taking the high ground. Seemed like the right idea at the time. Now, imagine doing the GBA version of the levels as Mega Man. That would be a hell to bring upon people. Honestly, base has an easier time dodging the vines. Uh, Mega Man would. again. This is boss watch any movie for free, and with all that money, I bet he paywalls it too. I'm trying to remember what the mine weakness is for. I I think it was for Ground Man.
I remember when I first played this game on Super Famicom. And it was this level that probably got me to quit. There was just some things about this level that did not feel right. Things is any hidden items behind this sandfall. Okay, it looks like there was hell. I think it was the totem trap, I believe. It gave me some struggles. Or maybe it was like this section. Oh wait, I can I think you can. Oh, that's the wrong weapon. I like that it's the same color as the ice ball I was gonna use. Hey there, Hoshi. Good to see you. You can always check the pod for whatever you missed. This is only the fourth level, I believe. You know what, just tank the hit, I don't care. Is this harder than Mega Man 7? Yes. But I think it's because I probably played Mega Man 7 more than I played Mega Man in base. Actually, I would say even then, yeah, it is. takes way too long as well. Maybe I can burn it. I mean, where else am I gonna use this weapon at this level? Probably get some use here. Yeah, see? I mean, is it objectively harder than Mega Man 7? Who can really say? Like, difficulty cannot be measured on objectiveness when you compare it to another game. For me, it's definitely harder than Mega Man 7. But I would say it moves better than Mega Man 7. Like, Mega Man just moves a little bit slower in 7. Oh yeah, the totem trap is right here. Well, this works. Yeah, but how am I gonna... I, I can't get that. Oh, I know what I can do. Watch this. Oh, you want that totem? Uh, too bad. 
No extra life for you either. you to get that item outside of magic card. I think that's the only way you can get it. Whoa. The double jump is fine. It's the dashing on the GBA version that sucks. Because it doesn't always work well. Unless you're really focusing on doing it. Like, it doesn't flow. Again. I had to use up all my minds to do it. Who would Mega Man 1 is weak to Cut Man's weapon? That would be Elect Man. Red drill. Well, I mean, Mega Man Base does one thing near the end of the game that I really like, and I wish the other games did it too. Which is give you, like, a level that requires you to use your weapons. To solve puzzles. Makes your offensive power increase in a tight situation. You can turn the tables and win. I guess I can grab that. Remember that this item does not work unless you equip it. Oh. No, I don't want to buy that. HSD. It allows you to dash faster. What does this cost? Oh, the treble boost. Okay, well, let's come back when we get more bolts. Ah, oh. I think it was. What was Ground Man's? What does Ground Man do more damage to? Was it Tango Man or Astro Man? I think it was Tango Man. Yeah, it's Tango Man. I'm Tango Man. The music for Tango Man here is better than it is in Mega Man 8. That much is for certain. Hey, you grabbed an extra life, you just used it up. Congratulations. Now go again.
Okay, at least it comes back. Oh. No. No! There's either familiarity or maybe it was time constraints. Who knows? I'm sure somebody at Capcom knows. Maybe they've already divulged. Doritos collisions? What flavor are you eating? That does sound pretty good. Oh wait, I forgot to equip the item. Increase offensive power while in danger. Intense dill and cool ranch? No. You know what? I'm gonna mulligan that one. I can't see shit. It's not cheating, it's time saving. If I were cheating, I would just like have invincibility. Oh, this? This is just done on retro arc. Not every core has the rewind function, though. Oh, right, the tellies. I think that should be good enough. Ah, damn it. I only make the mind drop where you are. Hey Shin Loki. Burp. Going through one of those days in Mega Man and Base. At least I'm playing as base so the game feels a little bit better to play. I know if I eventually have to replay this game, because I did do the Super Famicom version on YouTube. I did base on that. So if I ever do the GBA version, I practically have to be Mega Man. Just to uh, make things a lot worse for myself. Not to say that Mega Man and Base on YouTube is coming up real soon. Oh no! You jump better than Mega Man, so I'm stunlocked now. Just 
Just play his translated version of the SNES version? I, I did. That was what I did on YouTube ages ago. When I do replays, I try to do, if I can, different ports of the same game to see how different they are. There, the Tengu Blade. Oh, I didn't get many bolts that time. So I believe next is magic, man. Not magic Mike, magic man. Don't get too excited. Got some intense clown music. Oh. Oh no. Uh, you saw nothing. <laughs> So jumping at that time was the wrong idea. I feel like this part of the music is very Mickey Mouse core. Which is kind of fitting because Capcom did do Mickey Mouse games. Oh! Get me away from the Yoshi cookies. They, they just took some acid from, from, um... What's his name? Mega Man 8. Oh yeah, I think that was Clown Man stuff, too. Oh yeah, Capcom in like in the uh, 80s, well, mostly the 90s. I would probably say more 90s than 80s. They were like really on some good craft. Including when they had access to some licenses like Disney. Like... As far as, like, uh, Disney games, like, in the 90s, it was either Capcom or Sega that you knew you were gonna get a good game from them. Oh, looks like this is where I need to be, so... Capcom doing everything that is Street Fighter, Monster Hunter, and Biohazard can be those days. I mean, what else do they lean back on? Like, I don't think they could do another Devil May Cry game. And maybe uh, they wouldn't do another Parasite Eve game. I know the Mega Man uh, compilation. Those usually sell pretty well. Oh, 
Woo -woo. Got him. Oh, Parasite was Square Enix. There was another game, Dino Crisis. I was thinking of something else in the PS1, uh, style like that. Magic Man just splits in half and goes back to normal. Well, yeah, because he's Magic Man. I mean, we could probably let Kitty say that, though, if he's gonna say it. Uh, yeah, I think only Astro Man. I can't even go for Dino Man yet. I have a ball attached to my torso! And it makes me depressed. You know what? Fine. I got the CD. Back when games did not make you have to replay certain things to keep items. It's like, well, you already got it, so... Fine, I guess. Why would we make you replay things? Should've got a thicker shield, dude. Oh, that's what stuff comes out of the window. Preferably not when you're already making a jump. time it is over there. Which of these clocks is closest to your time? <laughs> okay, just sign it says. Oh, you cannot use that too. That's kind of dumb. So that one's Mega Man only, it looks like. You ran out of. Oh, that's why you lose things? When you lose a life, it was memory space? Trying that without dashing, oh man. That's the stuff of true terrors. Hey, Karibu. Yeah, you can use Ice Wall on that enemy.
Oh, great, the uh, disappearing blocks that have a block appear right on top of you! Imagine this about double jump, I've been there. Remember, I played the uh, originally played this for stream as Mega Man on the uh, Super Famicom, so I had to live through that. I don't have to imagine it; I've done it, and it was miserable. I'm just gonna zoom in right on ya. I think this weapon is not great to use on Astro Man. Okay, it gets rid of the holograms at least. Oh, you know what I say is, oh, this weapon sucks, and then I beat him. You just have to whip cards at his dick. Is it treble boost time? I don't know. Can I afford it? Let's find out. Nope, I'm five away. I just needed five more. <laughs> Alright, we gotta do one whole level. Dynamo Dynamo Man stage. It's either that or the Buster upgrade. Well, if I do the screw level, we should have that covered. Ah, life giving water. Nectar of the gods. Uh. I thought I was completely safe. Guess those fire enemies are gonna hit the red uh, crates. Imagine how much better this game would be if you were allowed to switch characters on the fly. It's like, oh, a level I want to be Mega Man. All right, well, I guess I'll be base for this one. Like, if you could actually just play as both, and just swap them out, that'd be great. And just make it so that, like, oh, you want to be both, but you have to 
realize that we'll have to make it so that you can only get powers, or that power will only go to one character instead of both of them. And therefore, incentivize you to have to choose carefully. Oh, there's a hack, but not an official version. I've been carded more for video games than I have for drinks at the bar. Only game lets you change characters like that is the Mega Man Extreme 2 and Game Boy Color. Uh, X5 and X6 let you do that too. If you rescue Zero. Well, in the case of six. Oh, if you mean mid-level, then yeah, you're correct. I probably meant like any time like swapping between levels. I should have clarified. not a fun level. I know it's magic. Should be close to the boss, I hope. <laughs> they just put a CD right there that you have to think fast to get. This game. I have the weakness for this fight. Can't really apply it until it tries to self heal. Huh. 
I'm not a fan of this, uh, attack. You pretty much have to pause to, like, uh, switch back to your buster. Maybe it's, you're better off just not using the, uh, copy vision. Just a little bit. Yeah, I think it's better without the weakness. That's all eight. The lightning bolt. All right, let's go to the shop. Get the trouble boost. Transform into a booster adapter for you. It's nicer than I expected. Well, I hope so. I want to get the rest of these, but they cost so much money. Let's get the exit unit. Oh, I already have it. Never mind. I figured I'd just get it now because honestly, if I'm gonna go into that uh, screw level, I can't believe I called it that, we're gonna get a lot of bolts there anyway. Might as well just get them now. Oh, right, it's copy vision you needed. It's hard to tell by the colors. Oh, it's. Oh, this is the mine. I hate this one. Oh good, two tries.
Uh, what typo? Don't worry about it. Is something in Lightning Bolt? Which, in a vacuum, is just horrendous. I mean, it could be... it could be worse. We were playing like a, uh, Wild Bill or Wild... Yeah, I think it was Wild Bill translation. Or are those can be quite notorious things that are quite bad on purpose. Well, you don't even have to do, like, the full thing with the Tango Blade here. You just double jump and then hit B. And that's it. Alright, that's all eight. Now look how much more money we have. 846. This is the off offense card, the Base Buster. It's truly a mighty powerful item. I want it. I have to equip it. It makes the Base Buster's bullets fly through terrain or walls. It's truly a hyper convenient item. You know, I'm gonna make that too. It allows you to use special weapons by consuming less energy. It's environment friendly. You know what? I'm gonna say no. It looks like Otto gets mad when you say no. Yes, now we got real power. We can do more damage with this thing. What? That's not fair. Base had to get up there another way. Oh, right this way. That way is meant for him. Ah, uh, still not enough to destroy them. Not without taking damage yourself. Ah, ah! Alright, let's do that again. Is there 
tactical advantage going up there? No. There is none. Oh! Now it, it didn't take it out right away. I had to use that move. Oh my god, I'm, I'm not doing all that shit again. I'm just gonna move on. I think you can, like, go back to the shop midway through the King stages, can you? Pretty sure you can. There might be something I'll have to do later. So I can get even more good stuff. Hopefully the stuff that I don't have to equip. Cool, thanks, game. Guess I'm going up there? What? Where'd you come from? What rudeness, it happened twice. Jump button! Weird game? I can't dodge what I can't see, alright? I can disappoint you. Oh, hey, Silverblade. Oh, it's the burner that takes out these, uh, Roombas. I was wondering what weapon works on them. Now we know. Is the GBA version as nasty as the SNES one? It's nastier! Because of Screen Punch. But it's mostly for that. I thought it was because it also had no iframes, but I noticed you do have iframes, so... Thankfully that crisis averted. Well, you did your best. Oh, hey, it's Monkey Man. Hey, you wanna fight in the dark? You don't wanna fight in the dark. Too bad! Hmm. I thought that was the play, it was not. Oh my god, I keep hitting... getting hit by the poo every time.
Man, it's like nearly every single shot. How many lives do I have left? I still have the full amount. Here I was thinking I would just get through one stream without s somebody flinging their shit at me. And turns out this monkey robot could not uh, abide by the rules. Yeah, this Buster upgrade rules. Yeah, I learned my lesson from last time. Is this still playable if you can use the screen crunch? Anything is playable if you get used to the screen crunch. It doesn't make it any better. Oh, that's something you have to equip as well. I thought that one was different. No, I'll take the eye present too. I got the uh, screws. I was gonna say, like, I'll only play this for a little while and then we'll stop, because I already beat this game on stream. It's like, but people are saying, oh, the king levels, oh, they're gonna be rough, so I guess I'll do them now. Oh, even with the extra power, this that enemy is still very, very tanky. Too tanky for its own good. I guess that's one way to ensure that it goes to the other weapons. I think it's already been doing that. Right? Like, it just refills more than one weapon. Ah. Okay, cool. This thing again? There's the item I need. This fight. Oh, there will be no fun here. Only Zool. Thank <laughs> you. 
I like how the camera just pans over the, uh, you might as well see this. Plus, I don't think I can stop that, uh, mortar attack. I thought I could outrun it. Maybe I should actually run. Oh, no! Right from your blade. The checkpoint's not even at the boss gate. What the hell are they thinking? I'll answer that for you. They weren't thinking. Oh, wait. I have an idea. I'm gonna switch to the other uh, Buster upgrade. It's not gonna do extra damage. But I'm thinking maybe if I make it go through the wall, I, it might hit something. Doesn't it put you in a checkpoint here? It's just stupid. go. That's something, at least. At least shut down one of its attacks. Yeah, it doesn't have a health bar at all, so good luck knowing how much damage you need to do to it. Alright, I got an idea. I'm gonna have to go back to this if I have to shoot the head. Took out one compartment. Oh my god, this dash sucks! it doesn't always work. This is not meant to be like a two face button game.
Okay, I took out the worst attack. Jaws had to make sure you have, like, all the space in the world before you even think of attacking him there. Because he always does the mortars too close. And you can't dodge it anyway. I don't have to use, like, other weapons. Oh, he led the shot. Oh, that attack's actually more likely to get you killed. They did not think this fight through at all. Like, the whole bar where you gotta hit the head. Almost like you have to use a specific weapon. And you gotta hope it's lined up to let you do it. Because I think you can only hit the head if it's gonna use the mortars. I love that weak, weak spots are only open for a period of time. And then chances are, for that one, you're not in a safe place to even hit it. If you're trying to escape, guess what happens? Frustrated into the goddamn word for it! This is bullshit! And you can't even shoot the bombs. That was my other plan. What if you could shoot them? Watch. You can't do it. I'd have done it if I could. Bugging me. Do not want. I mean, look at this. My only other option is like maybe the copy vision. This. Oh, what if I just never attack?
It's reacting to my strategies and countering them. And now it's keeping me from even getting up the ladder. I don't even think that does much either. Um, it's still backed up in time to hit me. Like, how many more times do you have to hit it? Oh, I did it too low. Yes! Fuck off! I just got up! <laughs> Fucking hell! Yeah, I just blasted more for good measure. How many lives do I have? Not enough of my liking. Okay, put on the large recovery, then use the magic cards to get more health out of it. Bit tedious to have to swap out every time. Ah, the mimic got stuck. I need to get some joy out of this. This wish they let you have, uh, I don't know, E tanks? Would cut the difficulty down immensely just from that alone. Oh, this fight. And sometimes the platform just will not be there to save you. At least it uh, sometimes drops uh, pickups for you. Too bad it drops other stuff that you may not want. Flash bombs. Oh, good, we got it. Oh, the super shot upgrade makes this so trivialized. Ah, 
I was honestly surprised I got that on the first try. Because when I played this on Super Famicom for stream, I did not get it on the first try. I would say close to the eighth try. Maybe more. Again, that was as Mega Man, so of course it was bad. Like, never mind the difficulty of missing the platform, that's just hard on the eyes. Welcome! I never thought I would meet you here. I suppose I have underestimated you. But your journey will come to an end here. You should feel honored to be destroyed by the king. I put his shield back. Well, thanks for coming to my rescue a bit too late. I can handle this. No, I can't. Seems I have no choice but to resort to extremes. Base, stay back! I'll put my whole energy into the next shot. Proto Man, you don't need to do that. I'll destroy King by myself. I owe this guy. Now it's my turn to pay him back. Funny, but so very reckless. Big Bang Strike! This can't be! What? What power? Uh... Hmm, Proto Man stole the spotlight. Ace, the show is not over yet. He's still alive. That's one down, and now you are next. Alright, where's it put ya? All the way back there. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna do the fight over. Oh, I used the spike guard. It's gone now. At least I got the extra life back. Oh, the, uh, the ice ball actually takes out the Joe in one hit, too. I didn't know that. Alright, try it again. Can't even 
even tell which ones go up and which ones go down. So I guess you have to stay really close. Now I'm gonna do it again. I've learned nothing. Why is the laser still in play? I cannot predict this guy's jumps. I just gotta hope he just does the, uh, axe swing. That gives me more opportunities to strike back at him. There, see? You won. Why do you fight so hard for these pitiful humans? Robots are superior to humans. But it is humans who created us. Maybe, or maybe not. Just put me out of my misery. But before that, we better let him evacuate. That way, we, he has a chance to be repaired. Don't worry about him. I beamed him out of the castle. After all, I am the Lord of Robots. That means I don't want to see our species destroyed. Before I go, you must tell me something. Who is your father? Who created you? What if I say it's Dr. Wily? What? King, what happened to you? Are your logic circuits damaged? Your enemy is right in front of you. Uh, I don't understand. Why do robots have to fight each other for the sake of the humans? Piece of junk. I'll boost your brainwashing level. There, I'll give you a coat of paint that makes you evil again. Alright, have fun. Okay, at least it has shadows to guide you. Yeah, didn't this have platforms because you were Mega Man? Yeah, if you're Mega Man, it had platforms. This doesn't have it anymore.
Alright, I'm gonna have to use my weapons. Gotta shut off that move. I'm gonna try this. He was not even doing any damage. Oh, I thought I had, you had to ride the fist. trouble than it's worth. Oh! You have to use an angled shot? Oh, I hate that orb so much. Jump just a little bit higher. This might be so much better. At least the buster does a lot of damage, like, if it hits the target. Laser again. God darn it! Why won't you die? reaction time you have to that uh, the mortars is so small
again, is just a victim to the screen crunch. There. Uh, you should leave this place now. This place could explode at any moment. Uh, King, what are you going to do? Of course, I'll leave this place too. But only after you go first. Huh, he's gone. I wish I had a transportation system in me. Goodbye, base. I think we could have been good friends. Alright, you get the happy stage clear music. I don't know if I'll need this, but I'll take it anyway. No, just take some lives. I mean, I can put whatever sound commands I want. You gotta know, deal with it. Speaking of dealing with things. You have no say as to what boss you fight. Oh, I actually got hit by that attack, but it doesn't do damage. This makes this fight go a lot quicker if you have this. Didn't even get hit. That block's are like, am I a joke to you? times in a row four times oh I'm gonna die how did I bip it so hard on this one enemy ass I think I picked up the life power Oh no! I didn't even put it back here. Not just take the death, it's fine. I just didn't think I'd biff it so hard at Astro Man. I was a bit surprised, honestly.
Not in a good way, either. I'm a sight. Say so that worm spawning point was also out of my sight. I didn't know it was coming until it did. This fight? Why did I make this fight so early? Could it be a deal breaker if your partner didn't play video games? Not really. It would only be a deal breaker if she tells you like you have to give up video games. That's a whole other thing. No, I'm not married. I am single. Pirate Man next. Wave Burner did work out fine. I forgot how long the explosions from the mines last. I could do without those. Why did it make me walk back? How many lives do I have? I did. Is it wrong to ask about someone's marriage life? Um... Only, like, to a complete stranger, like someone you just met. Would be weird. I think what happened was I accidentally walked back. So the mine actually went down. And took me with it. Am I using a PS4 controller? I am, how do you know?
I find it's more reliable than just using the PS5 controller. And the PS5 controller has been known to have issues when connected to PC. So, I think it's just Ground Man, Magic Man, and Tango Man left. Yeah, you destroyed me too fast! Now you, you gotta wait for me to come back. Coming back. Let me go. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I just kept missing him. Dead. Trying to fix that. My preferred controller is also the PS4 controller, and maybe the Switch Pro controller. Ground man time. Well, I dash and somehow I still got hit. Canada sounds like a neat place to live. Oh, it is. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good for me. Ooh, that was close. That was gonna get nailed hard there. Alright, oh, this guy needs the drills. That's all of them, so all that's left is Wily. 
Again, how many lives do I have? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to pass the smell test on this one. Darn that king! How dare he disobey his maker? That junk has been dealt with thanks to you. Now I'll put a restraining bolt on you before you go out of control. Once it's installed, everything will be under control. You pretended to be assaulted by King in order to have me take care of him? I will destroy you for using me. What impudence? Are you trying to disobey your maker? I'll show you who is boss. I get picked off. All right, well at least I get to do the fight with full health this time. Oh my god! I thought I could just walk under it. Just jumping over it, it is. Ooh, that was fast. Did the other side hit the dome? Yeah, it's just the dome and nothing else. Small target, though. I like how you just tag him just before he leaves. Oh, I thought they'd still track you the whole time. Oh no. I'm so close, I don't want to lose it now. Oh my goodness. I just want this over with. And now he's just gonna get me with every attack. Except for that one. Oh, but not that one. Just have to guide them. There, I'm done with you. How tell before me. Oh, I can like swap weapons during this. Why did you deceive me? Eek, forgive me. I just wanted to test your ability. What? What do you mean? I've always believed that you are the strongest the robot in the world. But you have not been able to defeat Mega Man. So I began to lose my faith in you. Then I had the idea that I could create a mightier robot. So I created King. But since you defeated King, I now know the truth. You are the mightiest robot in the world. What a lame excuse. Face, let me show you something. This is the plan for King the Second. Join with King the Second, and together, 
You two will be invincible! I wonder if King the Second was actually Zero. But it was just like prototype name. You never learn, Wily. This voice! Proto Man! I won't let this happen! Oh no, King 2 is separate. Oh no! My beautiful plan! Face! Destroy Proto Man! What are you waiting for? Face! I said destroy Proto Man! Face! You don't need to hesitate, do you? You are not a slave to Wily, are you? You are acting on your own, aren't you? Not with a partner, nor under someone's order. I... You are strong. That is true. But you can't defeat Mega Man. Do you know why? It is because you have nothing to fight for. What have you been fighting for, base? You don't have anything or anybody to fight for, do you? You have fought only for yourself, right? Silence! Just get lost! Farewell. What I fought for? That is ridiculous! I don't need a reason to fight. I have and am going to fight only to destroy Mega Man! The end. Well, we found 20 CDs. And that's it.